Imagine being able to go back in time and unsend that text or change the course of your own life, or on a more grand scale, turn back time so much so that you were able to change the course of history as we know it. It's definitely a fascinating idea, but is it really possible? Well, let's take a look at some theories that suggest it might actually be closer than we think. Cosmic strings are theoretical one-dimensional threads that could exist in the fabric of space-time. Think of them as incredibly thin, incredibly long defects that might stretch across the universe. If these cosmic strings are real and they come close enough together, their powerful gravitational fields could potentially create a kind of warp in space-time. This warp might be just the right kind of distortion needed to build a time machine. In essence, if cosmic strings exist and their gravitational effects can be harnessed, they could theoretically allow us to bend or even twist time, opening up the possibility of traveling to different moments in history. It is definitely a mind-bending idea that combines the mysteries of space with the allure of time travel. What more could you want in a time travel theory? It's got it all. Tachyons are theoretical particles that, if they exist, would have a remarkable property. They travel faster than the speed of light. In the world of physics, this is a huge deal because, according to some theories, moving faster than light could open the door to time travel. If tachyons are real and can indeed zoom through space at these incredible speeds, they might allow us to not only travel forward into the future, but also move backward in time. This is because, in some speculative theories, exceeding the speed of light could let you slip through time time's usual flow, letting you revisit or even alter past events. So they could be the key to unlocking the possibility of time travel, though they remain firmly in the realm of theory and speculation for now. Next we are talking about the grandfather paradox. It is a classic puzzle in time travel discussions. So picture this. Someone travels back in time and stops their grandfather from meeting their grandmother. If this happens, it means the time travel traveler's parents would never have been born, and by extension, the time traveler themselves wouldn't exist. This creates a logical loop, because if the time traveler was never born, then they could never go back in time to make that change in the first place. Essentially, it shows how messing with past events could lead to impossible contradictions and problems, making us question whether changing history is even feasible without causing major headaches for the timeline. And this brings us perfectly into our next theory, the many worlds interpretation. This theory, tied to quantum mechanics, proposes that every possible outcome of a quantum event actually happens, each in its own separate universe. Imagine it like this. Every decision or event that could go one way or another creates a new parallel universe where that specific outcome occurs. When it comes to time travel, this idea suggests that if you were to travel back in time, you wouldn't necessarily necessarily change the history of your own universe. Instead, you would enter a new alternate timeline where things play out differently. So rather than rewriting your own past, you'd be stepping into a parallel universe where history just took a different path, making it a fascinating way to think about how time travel might work without creating paradoxes. Richard Feynman, a renowned physicist, introduced an imaginative concept known as the checkerboard model to help us grasp how particles might interact with time. In this model, time is visualized as a two-dimensional checkerboard where particles move across the squares in various directions. Picture it like a chessboard, where particles can travel forward, backward, or even sideways, creating a dynamic and flexible view of how they might experience time. This checkerboard framework offers a way to understand how particles might move through time in ways that could be similar to time travel, providing a fresh perspective on how the fabric of space-time might actually work. Feynman's model is 
isn't just a theoretical curiosity, it actually helps scientists think about the possibilities of particles moving in unconventional ways and exploring the quirks of time. Time travel is such a wild concept because of the fact that it is filled to the brim with paradoxes that would certainly need answers. One of the most confounding is the bootstrap paradox. This is a very curious time travel conundrum that deals with objects or information being sent back in time and ending up as the source of their own existence. For example, picture traveling back to Shakespeare's time and handing him a copy of his own plays. If Shakespeare then publishes these plays as his own work, it creates a loop. The plays have no original author because they just came from the future. This raises quite a puzzling question about the origin of the works. Did they come from Shakespeare or were they simply a product of time travel? It is definitely a paradox that challenges our understanding of cause and effect, showing how time travel could lead to some absolutely mind-boggling scenarios where the source of something becomes a bit of a mystery. Wormholes are fascinating theoretical tunnels that could serve as shortcuts through the fabric of space-time. Imagine a wormhole as a kind of cosmic bridge connecting two distant points in the universe, bypassing the usual longer route through space. If these wormholes really exist and we could find a way to stabilize them, they might not only help us travel across vast distances in space, but could also allow us to journey between different moments in time. In theory, a wormhole could be like having a time machine that lets you hop between eras or even visit far off places in the blink of an eye. The Novikov self-consistency principle is an intriguing idea that addresses the potential headaches of time travel paradoxes. It suggests that if you were to travel back in time and try to change something, the events you create must fit seamlessly into the existing timeline. In other words, any actions you take in the past would be part of the history that already happened, preventing any paradoxes from arising. This principle implies that the timeline is self-correcting. If you attempt to alter something significant, it will somehow adjust to ensure that everything remains consistent with the history that has already unfolded. So instead of causing contradictions, your time travel adventures would simply align with the timeline that's already set in motion. Pretty convenient, I guess. Black holes. Oh my goodness. Probably the most terrifying aspect of outer space. Black holes are incredibly fascinating cosmic objects with such intense gravitational fields that they can actually warp the flow of time. As you get closer to a black hole, time slows down dramatically compared to places far from it. If you've seen Interstellar, you can definitely understand how heartbreaking this concept can be. Imagine you're near a black hole and then you return to a region with normal gravity. You discover that while only a short time has passed for you, a lot more time has flown by for everyone else. This effect, known as gravitational time dilation, effectively means you've traveled into the future. It is a crazy consequence of Einstein's theory of relativity and shows how extreme gravity can stretch and distort our experience of time. Speaking of the theory of relativity, what is that? Einstein's theory of relativity is a groundbreaking concept that changes how we think about time and space. According to Einstein, time isn't a fixed constant. It can stretch and shrink depending on how fast you're moving and how strong the gravity around you is. Specifically, as you travel closer to the speed of light, time actually slows down compared to someone who's staying put. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, means that if you could travel at such high speeds, you could experience time differently from someone else who isn't moving quite as fast. In other words, while you might age just a little, everyone else would experience the passage of time much more quickly, hinting that time travel into the future, at least theoretically, might be possible. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski. Let me know if you traveled into the future or the past before. Let me know down below. Bye!